Stacy's mom has got it going on. She's all I want. And I've waited for so long. Guys, Bitcoin Overdose here. Your daily dose of crypto. Definitely don't forget to follow me over on Twitter. At Bitcoin Overdose. The CEO of Shitcoin. Again, I've always thought about making that a thing. I don't know if it'll happen or not. Who really knows? Anyways, guys, the classic had just forked. I think like a couple minutes ago. Because this is fucking nuts. It went from... What is it? 88 thousand or eighty eight hundred thousand satoshi all the way down to like a hundred yeah a hundred or seven so just say it guys with these with these coins fork i hope you don't hold them because even like etc when that forks i'm sure that'll dump quite a bit too actually that might already forked i have no idea but it didn't look like this when it happened so um you know guys there's a small pump and then all the whales will dump it all at once and that's normally what happens but just looking back at the last couple of months of this coin, guys, I think it was like two dollars three months ago or something like that. Two months ago. So you kind of had to see this coming. I mean, just look at this. Like, hopefully you didn't buy at the top. I feel really bad if you did. Um, anyways, we're here to talk about Bitcoin because that's what we do here. Um, looking at the overall market, we're at <clears throat> 10 500 right now uh i'm not gonna get actually yeah let's go let's go over to my chart the the good chart because that's what we do here right damn guys i i just when i see that fork thing happen and i see everybody get hurt all the investors and you know they're not gonna do anything with that fork coin anyway it's probably just a scam it's a fraud um a lot of people are like oh that's why we need the sec regulations just don't buy into shit like that unless if you know the team unless we know what's behind it Guys, because there are so many scams out here, you need to watch out for that. And losing 90% of your portfolio in six minutes, I think it was. Um, you know, that would suck if you went all in on Z Classic. I, well, I hope you would never go all in on any coin, but, you know, I can't prevent everything. I'm not a financial advisor, though, so I can't really tell you what to do. I can't really tell you what to do even if I was. I don't know. None of this is regulated. I got my tea, though. I'm happy. The first two and a half minutes, I'm not even talking about Bitcoin yet. All right, um, now guys, this is working my channel perfectly. Again, I thought 11k was a FOMO line, it didn't exactly get all the way over that, it didn't close high enough for me. But, um, you know what? Chop mode, possibly, guys. If Bitcoin goes into chop, we're gonna see a lot of action, and I love action, guys. I fucking crave it because that's what I overdose on every day now. I think it's kind of crazy that I might have actually gotten the bottom of this and the top of this channel. Uh, I did say this a while ago. 11K would be the point where, you know, if we close over it, that would be the confirmation for our breakthrough to over 12.5 or 12.8. And then we get a lot of FOMO. Okay. But this could be a while. I mean, what is it like February, March? Guys, we're only in March. Like, in a in a week or whatever in march could get pretty nuts for this entire market uh usually march is a pretty good month looking historically um you can see that there's always this dip around christmas or whatever and then march will kind of come around may will kind of come around and we'll get a little bit of a boost and then they kind of run up so um, looking historically, March could be a great month for Bitcoin. Uh, definitely the bulls had enough time to consolidate, kind of find the ground, kind of, uh, I mean, it looks like they stopped the bears a little bit at least. Uh, this 200 day moving average, 21 day moving average is, you know, kind of staying with us. Four hour chart is looking like a bull flag right now. Again, guys, whenever the volume gets low, we get that volume spike, so we are close closing out around this and we'll probably find out the next uh, we'll probably find out today if we're going to keep going up to 10 8 or if we're going to keep going down to 9 6 um or 9 even even just 10 i could see 10 going in again but um again bitcoin is going into that chop area mode where it's gonna get um you know it's gonna get really dicey it's gonna get slicey and it's gonna get really nice um no, it's like mixing music pretty much. 
But I'm all eyes on Z Classic because I think that's fucking hilarious to see this order book. If you guys have bought the bottom of this, you guys could have made quite a bit of money. I mean, holy shit. Like, if you watch this and you just fill up the bid, like, all the way down here, like, one to one or whatever, you did the 90% dip and then you bought back in. You guys could have made nine dollars, twenty dollars, twenty-five bucks, you know, on that swing. Looks like we'll probably go back up to forty right now, actually. Um Yeah, I don't know. Whenever I watch that happen, I, I kinda wish I would have just had like free BTC to just fucking put in a bit at the bottom. And then you know, snag it real cheap and then you kinda just sell when it bounces a little bit. Cause guys, this isn't it doesn't fucking, you know, work like where it's just gonna dump automatically there's still gonna be bag holders and there's still gonna be people like holding on and there's still gonna be people buying because they know that people will FOMO back in for a little bit and shit so oh man the one minute chart's not even working like here's the five minute yeah i mean you could have made money if you just like bought in down here so back up here you know but this will probably keep going down so i, I wouldn't know anyways uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm pretty bullish by the dip. Definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go follow me over on Twitter at Bitcoin Overdose. Your daily dose of crypto right now. Um, I'm overdosing so you guys don't have to. Uh, I'm really bad with intros. I need to get, or outros. Intros and outros. Fuck.